Hey, how's it going? Um, well, it's nice to see you. Um, wow, it's been a long time since I've filmed anything in front of a camera. In fact, at this point, at least three months since my most recent video. And that wasn't even in this spot. So, yeah, it's... Dang. I feel like this is a video that needed to be made. It probably should have been made earlier, but that's fine. I'm here now, and I'm going to talk about where have I been, why haven't I made videos, what's the plan for the future, what's going on, okay? First of all, why haven't I been doing videos? Well, the reality of the situation is mostly procrastination, for sure, and a lack of motivation. I'm always going to be upfront with that. I've said it in the past, you know, I struggle with motivation here and there, especially when this is obviously just a hobby for me, uh, not my job by any means. And honestly, it's kind of like normal work. Going to my job has been a bit um, depressing, you could say. And I've definitely been struggling with depression here or there. Nothing that severe but obviously ment mentality wise it's been crucial um, it like and I felt that I owed it to anybody when I'm doing a video to not do it when I'm just gonna be miserable you know because you know I've had videos in the past where you can tell I'm clearly not in the greatest of moods and even then I still have fun every time I do videos I have fun it's something I do because I really enjoy it I like talking about these kinds of things, but at the same time, there's obviously a clear difference. I'll even see it in editing sometimes in the past where I can clearly notice like, wow, I am not on my A game. Not that I'm like always, my A game is not, um, well, but then there's just some videos where it's like, oh, you are not in a good mood. Um, <laughs> and that'll affect sometimes how I view what I'm watching, my... Just the way I talk in general, it's just like, oh, he's clearly miserable, so that's not really a fun thing to watch. But, you know, for the most part, I'm, I'm generally, like, happy-go-lucky, of course. That's what I'm known for, is being a happy-go-lucky personality. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I wanted to, I felt like a break was necessary. And, again, whenever I take these breaks, you know, if I knew I was going to take these breaks, I would announce it, and I'd be like, I'm taking a break. But it's almost never intentional. It's... In the moment, uh, I fall behind on videos, and then it's just like, you know what, I'll just take a break for a while. You know, I was uh, right in the middle of Pentatonix posting a lot of videos, which is Pentatonix, I react to, review everything they do. So. Okay, can we have a moment of silence for the people outside, whatever happened? Yeah, so it was right, they were posting a lot of PT experience videos, even when I was, when I fell into this three month break, and then they posted some videos afterwards, there was some solo work, and this is all stuff I haven't watched. I still haven't watched their Can You Feel the Love Tonight video, I haven't watched any of the PT experience videos since then, because, you know, I'm just very stubborn in watching every pentatonics video on camera at this point. I've done it since 2015, 2016 at least. I've done every like pentatonics thing that came out. I waited till I could film my reaction to it. That's just one aspect of my channel. I was also right about to do a review for the latest Taeyeon album that I watched on the channel, listened to on the channel, which is the Y album. I was excited to do that review. I had a bit of reflection and changes to talk about in my opinions, but um, that, that kind of was a, a victim of the break as well. I mean, I will do it when I come back to doing videos regularly, but I don't know when that will be exactly. I don't want to make any false promises for sure, because I've done that a lot in the past. I will say that I have not just been doing nothing the past three months. Um, like you said, dealing with some stuff, um, just like overall not a very healthy lifestyle I've been living, but at the same time I have been doing 
videos over on a second channel, which I did announce, but I know not many people were very interested in it from this channel, which is fine. But it's still there, and we're very active on it. There's videos every week. And in fact, that takes up a lot of my time. I'm editing all the videos for that. So when I come back to doing videos on this channel, I'll have to somehow juggle both. And that's going to be a very hard challenge for me because it's already challenging enough for me to do that channel right now. And it's like, oh yeah, I have that whole other channel, which I've uh, <laughs> I have an established backlog of over a thousand videos on. You know, it's like, yeah, I need to get back to that. And I want to get back to that because there's stuff I can do solo that I definitely can't do on there. Tarkaron is the name of the channel that I do with my friend Alec through the power of the internet. And that's like the reason I'm able to do that more consistently and have been sticking with that even when I haven't been doing these videos is because they're easier to do in that I don't have to set up a camera and do a whole setup thing like I do with my channel. I just simply have to use, I simply can use a webcam and I already set up, set up, that it's easy I can just hit start recording. All we have to do is meet up on our scheduled time every week and knock out our videos and you know the difficulties with that is just coming up with a new little layout each time and having that ready uh, making sure audio levels are alright and then editing them afterwards but it's much easier for me to just sit down and have everything ready and also the fact that you have someone else there so if you're feeling a little lazy that day it's like no I still have someone waiting to do these videos I'm not gonna just bail you know we have a set day of the week every night every night of that day of the week we do that so it's good um, and I've really been enjoying the videos we're doing there I'm talking about we're talking about a lot of stuff we love um, from video games to movies to television and some other wacky stuff on the side as well and it's one of those things where I don't have to worry about views at all you know which I mean I would love for more people to watch it because I'm I'm uh, pretty proud of some of the stuff we've done here it's mostly discussion based stuff there's also some reaction content but nothing really music related there but yeah I'd love for more people to watch it but at the same time it's like there's no pressure to do certain kinds of videos um, and even though we keep it at a weekly schedule there's no real pressure to put them out on certain days because there's only a couple people expecting videos out there and that consistently watch them which is you know sad but also <laughs> liberating in a sense I guess I'm trying to find the the positives in it. I really would love more people to watch that channel but I don't know what else to do you know I put it out there if people don't want to watch it they're not gonna watch it that's all and it's fine okay but you can still check it out if you're interested at all in any of those things discussing games film, television, and everything around that, in that spectrum. But yeah, hopefully we're going to be consistent and keep doing that for a while. No plans on stopping anytime soon. So yeah, the challenge will be to reintroduce my channel into my schedule. Um, when will that be? I don't know. But I definitely want to make it happen. There's a lot of stuff I still want to do. There's a lot of like creative series that I can only do on my channel. And... It's an opportunity for me to talk directly to you about whatever I want to talk about. Um, I would like to do some more comedy stuff maybe in the future. Because I keep getting more and more comments on an, on one like one off George Carlin reaction I did back in like 2015 or 2016. Years and years ago. But like people keep coming upon it and it's like one of my most popular videos now just by random chance and like they're recommending different comedy and stuff because they did ask in that video for more comedy to watch potentially but I never did anymore so I think that would be maybe a cool thing to try out doing because I do I love making people laugh and with kind of like the depression I've had off and on for the past few years it's like my personality has definitely changed from that I'm not as openly like trying to make people funny on my game all the time as I was but you know I'm still trying it's just a different sense of humor uh, but I would like to expose myself to more comedy because I as much as I love laughing and making people laugh 
I don't really watch a lot of like stand stand up comedy and that kind of thing. So that'd be a cool thing to get into. That's just a random thought I had like the past week though. It's not even like a thing I've thorough, thoroughly thought out. Um, I definitely want to do more music stuff because um, that's my only venue to really talk about that. And I haven't been able to talk about it in months, whether, whether it be pentatonics, K-pop, any other things. Um, you know, just one of those things. Uh, lastly, I want to ask you, if you would please, I'd like to make a new intro for my channel. And my idea is not to have one stable intro but to have it a different intro every episode. And it's not a fancy intro, but rather just any of you. And I'm going to reach out to some of my friends too. I'm, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, some friends, maybe some other video creators. Basically, it'll just be like, kind of like a Disney Channel intro kind of thing. Except you won't use the wand to draw a symbol in the corner. But just be like, I'm so-and-so, you're watching Zach Archer. And you can do that in whatever style you want. I'm giving you the full creative liberty as long as it's appropriate. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfectly appropriate. But as long as I can post it on YouTube. <laughs> any, Preferably with you on camera in some fashion. But if you don't want to, that's also an option. You film something else and say this. But, you know, say your name. Say your user username, whatever it is. And yeah, whatever way you want to do it, it's fine. So I'm asking you to send it to the email that I'll have in the description and just make it a, the easiest way is to make it an unlisted video on YouTube and send me the link through there. That's the easiest way. You can send me the video directly too, but safest way is through YouTube. So just, hey, I'm Zach and you're watching Zach Archer. You can say it. You, you don't have to say it with enthusiasm. You can be like, I'm this person and you're watching Zach Archer. But the idea is to have as many um, different intros as possible. And then obviously I'm not going to have enough to keep infinitely new intros forever. But I'll like repeat some over time and mix it up. But I'll just have a pool of intros I can grab from, you know? But do whatever you want. Whatever represents you, you know? Do something with it. And, yeah, that's the plan. So, we'll see how it goes. And it'll be a nice little touch, I think, in the beginning of each episode. Something different you can find in the beginning of each video. Because I had an intro a while ago, a couple years ago. There was uh, music that my friend made for me. And then I just edited some clips for my videos in there. But I was thinking maybe this would be something different. Because right now I have no intro. It's kind of raw. No intro, no outro. And I, I want to mix some stuff in here. I'll try it out, okay? So thanks for watching. I love you. Uh, I still love you. And if you want nothing to do with me, that's fine. By the way, we passed 4,000 subscribers in the time that I was away. It's funny because when I'm away for extended periods of time is when I get... I gain the most subscribers. I mean, it caps off after a bit, but I'll have the most rapid gain in that time, <laughs> which is ironic. It's like when I'm not doing videos, people are like, oh, I can get on board with this. He's only going to post a video every three months. But then when I start posting regularly again, they're like, oh, God, I need to unsubscribe from this person and get away quick. I forgot to subscribe to him. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing my best to balance like some of the older stuff I did and also trying to find a new mold for me to fit in. You know, something fresh in addition to the second channel now, Tarkaron. And something, you know, she keep it a contrast and also make you happy with what I'm doing as well. I'm always open to ideas, um, suggestions, even. So thank you, that's it. All right.